What's going on boys, Minuscule Mitch back here once again today. We have our 10 million coin end game weekend league recap. Uh, it was a really good weekend for me. We wound up going 14 and three. Just kind of ran out of time on Sunday night, um, but we could have pushed that 20, maybe even 23 bubble. We started the night six and three, went eight and zero on Sunday night. Uh, and like I said, just ran out of time, unfortunately. But the team played really well. Um, all the way from the back of the goalie, even up all the way to the striker. Absolutely felt great. Um, so as you can see here, guys, we got team of the season, O-Black. We have uh, headliners, Semedo, team of the season, Diego uh, Carlos, Militao flashback, Mendy, Summer Heat, uh, Jao Felix, Modric, Conte, team of the year, Neymar Tots, and Pele, and Antu Fati. And in-game, what this team's going to look like is... 4-2-3-1, uh, we have Felix at striker, Pele at cam, Fati and Neymar out wide, with Conte and Modric as our CDMs. Uh, we keep our four attackers up, so our uh, three cams and striker, they all stay forward, while our CDMs and wingbacks stay back. Um, just allows us to counterattack really well and just feels really good for us. Um, so that's just how I run it. Uh, yeah, it works for me. I'm terrible at defense regardless, that's why I need the extra help, but it works for me. Like I said, 14-3, that's one of the best records we had going into that many games. Uh, but without any further ado, guys, if you do enjoy the video today, please uh, subscribe, leave a like, and uh, we'll get into this gameplay, so let's go check it out. Alright guys, so starting in goal, we have Oblak. Um, people would probably rather use Ter Stegen, but in my personal opinion, I just think Oblak's a little bit better. Um, his reaction saves are the best I've seen all year, and that's something that's hard to come by. Him and uh, Vandersar are the best goalies in the game for me, so I prefer him. He's a little bit cheaper than Ter Stegen, and he just really played well for me all throughout the weekend league. Next up, we have Nelson Semedo. This card's weird for me. Um, defensively, he's alright. Um, he's pretty solid. Not as fast as his card indicates, but he gets the job done. Um, but offensively, his shot's really good. Uh, his crossing, passing, and dribbling are just really kind of what make me enjoy him the most, um, getting forward with him. Next up, we have Diego Carlos. Um, I went between him and I had a lone Varane, team of the season Varane, um, and Diego Carlos outshined him every single game. Uh, he played really, really well for me, absolutely solid, good uh, catch-up speed, and uh, just a really overall good card, links with uh, my Militao perfectly and he gets the job done. Not a whole lot of people get past the pairing, which leads me over to Militao, who, in my opinion, is the number one center back in this game. Uh, better than Van Dyke, better than Rio, better than Ramos. He is absolutely lights out. Strength, pace, agility, just he's positioning. He is just ridiculous in this game. I've used him from the day I got him all the way up until now. Never even considered him taking out, and we have been cycling through a lot of players, trust me, in this club, and he's always remained constant. Next up, Berlin Mendy at left back. Uh, again, kind of the same as Tomato. I like to flip-flop him uh, up and down the field. Uh, his dribbling is better than his defending, in my opinion. Uh, and again, his pace doesn't really feel as fast as it looks on his card, but his skills, his dribbling, his shooting, five-star, five-star. You can't complain about that at all. The card's absolutely amazing. All right, next up, we have uh, Modric. Modric, I've always liked this card. Um, defensively, he's fine. He's not incredible. But he gets the job done. I have two little guys, him and Conte, obviously, so um, it's a little difficult. But they do get the job done with, you know, their stamina, positioning. They're all over the field, so it's more annoying, even though we don't have a big guy back there. Uh, and then my highlight for him is that he, his finesse shots are just absolutely incredible. Um, it, I don't, it's not, it doesn't say so on his card. He doesn't have the finesse shot trait, but he scores some absolute bangers for me. Next up, Timmy there, Conte, who we were lucky enough to pack recently in our 86-plus uh, player picks. Uh, this card's incredible. I got him on ACAM here, so not at his full potential, but still completely good enough. Uh, this guy's absolutely rapid. His passing, shooting, dribbling, fending, physical, everything is just absolutely lights out. Best center, best center mid in the entire game. Him and De Bruyne probably would be my two favorites. Um, but this card is just absolutely amazing. I was so lucky to pack him because I was missing a, a second CDM for a while there, but he is absolutely incredible. Next up, I have Ansu Fati. Um, so I kind of have a love-hate with him. I think he's really good at shooting, positioning, making runs. Uh, that being said, on the ball, I just don't like him. He's got a weird touch. He's not as fast as it indicates. Um, he's only got four-star skill moves. I prefer five up top. 
Um, but he, he does get the job done. He fills the position. Um, if we're going to be completely honest, I would like to switch him out for Shapeshifter Ronaldo at some point. Or potentially even uh, Messi or maybe even that Dembele. Uh, uh, Road to the final Dembele. Um, but being a free card, I can't complain. He's really good. I, he's just not as meta as the rest of this team. But he does get the job done. And he does have a really good shot on him. Left wing, we have Tots Neymar. Um, what can you say? Five star, five star, five star. Probably 99 in all dribbling stats, pace, shooting. The guy's ridiculous. Either foot, finesse, straight on, near post, far post, anything you want. Skill moves for days. Uh, I've talked about this card a million times. He's an absolute legend, absolute beast. And then Pele. Uh, I say it every time. This guy just doesn't get appreciated the way he should. Um, he's absolutely incredible. Uh, I play all these teams that are full of team of the seasons, full of icons just giant teams and I never see Pele um, this card for me his finishing is unmatched um, and he's just incredible I think he's absolutely amazing in this game and then to finish off the team we have Jao Felix at striker who in my opinion is the best striker in this entire game he's got that special finishing like R9 like Pele it just goes in either foot every single time Matched with his his positioning and route running is just unbelievable. He's always in the right spot at the right time, always getting in. He's got 43 goals in 40 games all weekend league. Um, he's just an absolute monster. His dribbling's insane. Positioning, like I said, just my favorite striker. And for I think he came in under 200k. It's an absolute steal. He's a good nation, good league, and just an absolute monster of the game. But guys, that is it for the team. Um, like I said, 10 million coin team. This team is absolutely lights out for me. The best team I've ever had in a FIFA. Probably the best team I'll ever have. I got so lucky with Conte, Neymar, Pele. The players I packed allowing me to get all these SBCs done. And we do have three absolute studs. 93 rated. Mendy, Tomato, and Fati. All uh, objective players that FIFA gifted us. Thank God. And then we were able to get, you know, Modric, Felix, Militao done as SBCs. But just absolutely blessed this year with the luck we had. Um, for how little we put into the game. So, you know, we have 1,800 games. We're a pretty decent, you know, gold three, gold two player for the weekend league. But it's absolutely hooked us up this year. Our team is insane. 10 million coin team without barely spending any money on the game. Uh, and this team is just amazing. They're not just expensive players. They're just such good meta players. Uh, and it's just a really fun team. We'll probably get one or two more weekend leagues after this one. Um, might not do gameplay on it unless you guys really enjoy this video, but I absolutely love this team. It's going to be the best team I ever have in any FIFA, I would imagine. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video today, though, guys, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you coming out. appreciate all the support on the channel. We're over that 100 sub mark, which is a huge deal to me, and uh, just trying to get to that 1,000 now. Race to 1,000 at this point, um, but I just, uh, don't want to get ahead of myself. I do appreciate you guys, and uh, I hope you all have a good one, and I'll see you all next time.